Now, are you prepared to drop whatever you're doing to respond to an emergency in your local area? Well, you could be exactly what the Fire and Rescue Service is looking for. Donna has been to Warren Point to find out more. 100 years ago, Warren Point got its first fire station and that was to service not just the town, but the nearby harbour and also the Mourne Mountains. In 1916, the alarm was raised by someone ringing the fire bell at the town hall and then a clerk would run out and knock the doors of the firefighters whether they were at home or in work. The alert system is a little bit more sophisticated nowadays with mobile phones and pagers, but that sense of service is still in place. Rod, what sort of incidents would firefighters have attended all over those 100 years? Well, I suppose it have varied uh, to a great degree, Donna, but you know, everything from domestic and commercial fires right through to the ship events we're now having across the road in, in the large port. And we would have mountain fires in the morns and rescues off our, our internationally renowned mountain bike track, which is on our doorstep here at the station. What are the sort of people who joined the service on a part-time community basis here in Warren Point? Well, you know, it takes a certain type of person. They have got to have that community spirit and, and a desire to give back. Uh, they come from all walks of life. Some of them are employed, some of them are self-employed. But the one thing that they have in common is their the great sense of camaraderie and the fact that they train together and work together to serve the community that they actually live in. I've been told that not only is it a sense of serving the community in these parts, but also that that sense is passed on from generation to generation within families. Invariably that was true because there was a requirement in order to be a retained firefighter that you lived within a certain response area from the station. So what you found was that father did it for many years and as a result the, the sons and daughters were used to that system. So it was a natural progression when vacancies became available that they were taken and brought into service with the family. Well, let's talk about the present day community firefighters. Our reporter Francis Gorman spent drill night here at Warren Point. Crew, crew, shun. One, two, three. Monday night five, is drill night seven, at Warren eight, Point Fire Station. Seven, These men are community firefighters. That means they have day jobs, but are always on call in case of emergency. Dermot Sloan has been in the service for 11 years and runs his own software company in the town. It's something that I had always wanted to do and when the opportunity came up they were uh, recruiting for six people uh, back in 2005 and I was one of those people that got in at that time. There certainly is a buzz um, associated with it but obviously the main thing is for uh, being able to help people. Some of those incidents whether it's been house fires or road traffic collisions and you manage to get people out and then you see them sometime later and you realise that only for the efforts of the crews, they may not be walking the streets. But while there may be job satisfaction, dealing with the likes of road traffic accidents can be a tough job mentally. It's not just distressing really for the people that are involved in those, it can be very harrowing for the crews as well. So the camaraderie of the, the crews in the station afterwards can, can help to, to get everyone through that. Um, it doesn't get any easier over the years whenever you, you're dealing with those. While Dermot and his colleagues may have day jobs, they must always be at the ready to drop everything to deal with an emergency call. Whether I'm in work or whether I'm at home, maybe even out for a meal or something, your bleeper goes, you just have to drop and run. And actually whenever I met my wife, I think it was our second date, um, I was supposed to meet her and my bleeper had gone shortly beforehand and I had to go to a road traffic collision and stood her up, but obviously got away with it. At the end of the evening, the fire tenders are fully fueled and filled with water like the firefighters, ready to go 24-7. Francis Gorman reporting there. Rod, how important is it for employers to be flexible when it comes to community firefighters, to let them go on a job? Well, it's absolutely vital to us. You know, the guys can't provide the service here, serving the community as firefighters without the backing of the employers. And to be quite honest, it's a vital community service that the employers do allow them a way to do that job. Thank you, Rod. Well, there really is a sense of community here in Warren Point. And at the end of the month, there will be an open day to celebrate 100 years of firefighting in the town. Retired firefighters are coming back to join in the celebration. And all the children and young people will be able to find out what it's like to work with one of these.